always falling in love with women. This is silly. All my life. Mess. I don't understand it. I don't know. It's a waste. It's a complete waste. It is. Yeah. Because women would rather fall in love with me than me fall in love with them. If I could just be, be accomplish who I am, you know. And who are you, Patrick? I'm like that guy who uh, did all these things and then became like the perfect, not the perfect, but became like the, the best judge of all these different situations because he was in them all. And I think it was like Alexander the Wise or one of these guys' stories from when I was a kid. He did a little bit of everything, you know. And then when it came down to rule the people, he had done all the things that they would do involved with, so he really had a first-hand experience of what their life was like, so he was able to rule in a more just fashion than any other story. So you're able to rule what now? Well, i got to rule myself, that's the main thing, mostly. Yeah. That's a very wise statement, Patrick. I'm a pretty wise guy. You're a wise guy, <laughs> you're a wise guy. I knew that. You feel me? <laughs> Who, me? Would I do that to you? <laughs> Why not? So, I, I enjoy the discovery process. Really. Not just myself. And, and because it, everything was so difficult for me to learn when I was younger, I really enjoy it even more now. Because, Why do you enjoy it more now? Because I was never really forced to do it, because I always had problems. Mm -hmm. I was dyslexic. So. so I wasn't forced into it because I guess they just assumed it wasn't really going to, it wasn't going to take. Were you lefty? No. I was ambidextrous. I used to switch hands and they didn't like that. They told yeah, me to use I the same hand. Was, no. And I don't even really be recall being dyslexic at all. Still, I have problems with remembering it. You, re you like reading it? I read. I reverse things a lot, but I think it's normal for me. Do you have trouble I, writing? Sometimes. I thought it's just like a lazy eye. I'm not using it the right way, but I like to think that somehow this turning things around and over is going to give me a better understanding of viewpoints in, in both in both turns. It both changes situations. your view and perspective on things. Because almost everyone I know that's dyslectic has some other talent to make up for it. Well, I have a lot of talents that are all sort of in the same vein. They're all with my hands. Mm -hmm. I'm, not a, like, I'm not a very intellectual person. Not yes, very, you are. I mean, I love all that stuff. I read yeah. it. You know, and I, and I use it. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't... Uh, I'm not very eloquent as, as far as... Being able to really uh, express yourself verbally. Like you know, I've always been better expressing myself than I mm -hmm. Hence the trouble I've gotten into with women. But I think that trouble? Well, you got into trouble with women? Not really. just, just personal, myself. You know. I'm spending too much time in the wrong areas. But you know, my music, chef. And it's what would you like hands. to say as a closing note? I'd like to say, hey, look at this. What can these do for you, huh? What can these do for you, baby? I want to share. I do. Because, you know, that's that's what I've learned lately. <laughs> no, really, what I've learned lately. No, what I've learned lately. Is that, what I've learned lately, late in my life, is that it's shared. And he just keeps on talking, but he can go on forever. So this is the end of our interview with Patrick Collins. 7A in New York City on, I think, June 6th. Um, yes, okay, signing out. Thank you very much. Goodbye.